previous geometry lesson we looked at, we talked about properties of parallel lines. Today we're going to look at some theorems and postulate that's going to help us prove lines parallel. I'm Mr. Polarski. Let's get this party started. There are five ways in this lesson to prove lines parallel. The first is the converse of the corresponding angles postulate. If two lines in a transversal form corresponding angles that are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. So in the diagram here, we can see that we have line L and line M. Angle 1 and angle 2 are corresponding angles and they are congruent. Therefore, line L is parallel to line M. Two more ways to prove lines parallel. The converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. If two lines in a transversal form alternate interior angles that are congruent, in this case angle 1 and angle 2, then the two lines are parallel. So if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then L is parallel to M. Also we have the converse of the same side interior angles theorem, that if two lines in a transversal form same side interior angles that are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So from the diagram given, if angle 2 and angle 4 are supplementary, or their measures add up to 180 degrees, then line L is parallel to line M. Here we have the last two ways in this lesson to prove lines parallel. The converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem. If two lines in a transversal form alternate exterior angles that are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. So in the diagram given, angle one, if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then line A is parallel to line B. Finally, we have the converse of the same side exterior angles theorem, which states if two lines in a transversal form same side exterior angles that are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So from the diagram given, if angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary, then line A is parallel to line B. Now that we've gone over the postulate and theorem from this lesson that can prove lines parallel, let's take a look at some problems. Example 1 here, we have uh, two sets of lines, some angles marked, use the diagram above, which lines, if any, must be parallel if angle two or angle 3 and angle 2 are supplementary. So the angles in question would be this angle 2 here and this angle 3. And we need to identify which pairs of lines we're going to be working with. This line is acting as the transversal of angles 3 and angle 2. So line EC and line DK are the lines that may be parallel. If these two angles are supplementary, it means that they are same side exterior angles. So angle 2 and angle 3 are same side exterior angles. Therefore, line EC is parallel to line DK. Now, even though this Y comes after the actual question itself, here's the reason why. Line EC is parallel to line DK because angles 2 and 3 are same side exterior angles. In example 2, we need to find the value of x for which line L is parallel to line M. So we must identify what kind of angles these ones that are marked with these algebraic expressions, what kind of angles that they are. These two angles are on the inside of the lines we're trying to show parallel, and they are on opposite sides or alternating sides of the transversal, therefore they are alternate interior angles, and the measure of alternate interior angles are equal because alternate interior angles are congruent. So we can write the equation 14 plus 3x is equal to 5x minus 66, and then we simply solve this equation for x. We can subtract 3x from both sides. And we can add 66 to both sides. The 
366s on the right go away. The 3x's on the left go away. 14 plus 66 is 80. And 5x take away 3x is 2x. Then we'll divide both sides by 2. So x must be equal to 40. So for these two lines, line L and line M, to be parallel, the value of x must be 40. That will give us 14 plus 3x being equal to 5x minus 66. Our final example today, a rectangular wooden frame has a diagonal metal brace. That would be this segment here, segment BC. The angles indicated were measured to be equal. Which sides are parallel? Well, if we look at segment BC being the transversal to segments AB and CD, these two angles are again alternate interior angles. Therefore, we can conclude that segment AB is parallel to segment CD because the angles marked are alternate interior angles. I hope this gets you on your way to proving lines parallel. As always, feel free to leave a comment or to rate this video.